what if I should never find someone so incomparably suitable and wealthy? What if it's suitable, but you don't feel yourself with him? <laughs> Dido, he understood me. And whenever... Whenever he looked at me, I somehow felt right in this world. I am certain his affections were growing for me, and I am certain of my own love. Oh, Beth, stop it. It, it. it is not love. Dido, you stop it, won't you? You know no more of love than I myself, do you? Do you? No. And what right do you have to name what I am feeling than me? I've heard nothing from him since the ball, Dido. I was certain an announcement would be made any day. But he meant it this time. Well, then he is not a man of his word. I will help you find the kindest, most wonderful of husbands, and I shall ask Papa to use a portion of my inheritance for your dowry. You would do that for me? Bet anything for you. Dido. I, I have been of the mind state these last few days that it is my little means that has delayed James in making his approach. I think you may be right. <laughs> well, then I cannot thank you enough. Oh, I will tell Papa to write immediately to Lady Ashford. No. <laughs> no? James Ashford is not kind. He's not a man to give your life or your diary to. Then your gift comes with conditions. No. What then? Look, I'm trying, I'm trying to make you see he is not appropriate. Appropriate? The brother of the man you are to marry is not appropriate for me. He doesn't desire you, Bat. At least even if he does, you, you would regret such a mistake. He, he laid his hands on me, Bat, in the most ungentlemanly fashion. Why should you say such a thing? He sent me once. He hurt me. You are a liar. Why, why would I lie to you? I don't know. But can't you see? He would never touch you. Bet. You are beneath him. I, I'm beneath him? Yes, you are. You... What, what? Tell me, what am I, Bet? You are... illegitimate. Have you never wondered why you are not permitted to eat with our guests? <laughs>